Jewish child abuse victim and campaigner Manny Wax this week threw his support behind the obliteration of a mural by disgraced entertainer Rolf Harris that adorned the wall of a hardware store in the heart of the Jewish community. The artist and singer was last week sentenced by a UK court to five years and nine months in jail after being found guilty of a string of indecent assault charges against underage girls. Harris painted the mural at Penhaluriacs in Hawthorne Road in 1990 while he was fronting the British Paints brand. 24 years on, the store's proprietor, Frank Penhaluriac, explained his decision to destroy Harris's work. This is still obviously a painting, but it's a painting which has been obliterated because this fellow was evil. He went on for many, many years being evil behind the scenes. Now he's been shown out for what he is. The painting is gone, but the memory of his evil is behind the red paint. Wax, who watched as the mural was painted over, commended Penhaluriak for taking this public stand and for setting an important example for the community. The Rolf Harris case sends a powerful message. Irrespective of who you are or the time that's passed since you committed such crimes, justice will be pursued. Wax went on to urge victims of abuse to come forward, a sentiment echoed by Caulfield MP David Southwick, who also witnessed the obliteration of the mural. To all those that have been abused, uh, that they, they should and they must come forward and those that abuse uh, innocent people, innocent young children should be held to the fullest of account. Zeddy Lawrence, JNTV.